there. How are you doing today? Do you feel like seeing what's new at Dollar Tree and maybe doing a couple new DIYs using those new items? Well, come on in. Let's get started. What do I have going on for you for today? Well, you know I live in the Dollar Tree. Today I was there and found some pretty great new items. Items that I felt instant inspiration about. So much so that I couldn't wait to get home and DIY with them and that is just what I did. And so along with these new finds at Dollar Tree, you're gonna see some pretty fun DIYs using the items that I found today at Dollar Tree that you should most definitely keep your eye open for at your local Dollar Tree so you can do these really great, easy, budget-friendly DIYs that pack a punch that I think you're gonna love. Did I say I'm super excited about these? Well, I am. So guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna quit my gabbing, let's head into Dollar Tree, let's see what items you should keep your eye open for, and let me show you these amazing DIYs using these items. Let's get to it. Let me just tell you, I love the idea of these. Reusable Ziploc baggies. I love that. I use Ziploc baggies all the time. I buy them by the boxes. I love that Dollar Tree has these. Wish they had them in several different sizes, but I love it. These caught my eye. Summer Fat Quarters. Look at these B ones. I am loving the theme of these. Sunflowers are my all-time favorite. They've got a whole line of these right now, so not gonna lie. Picked up a couple of each because I'm feeling a bit of this summer inspiration maybe using sunflowers. Dollar Tree has some scrapbooking paper. They call it craft paper, but nonetheless, these are fun to paper craft with, so keep your eye open for these. And along with those, an acrylic stamp block. This is a fairly good size. I wonder if Crafter Square is gonna start carrying some stamps. I know they've got a couple, but we need some better ink, Crafter Square. Are you ready for a DIY using these new wood bins? Oh my word, super excited about them. You're gonna get three different sizes. Yeah, they are $1.25 each. They've got the metal label holder on the front and the back. I was loving the look of these. So I picked up a couple different sets for these here DIYs that you're gonna wanna do. For this first one, you're gonna need one size of each. Yeah, look at that, the label holder on each side so it can be double-sided. Loving that. The best part is there's three different sizes. You're gonna need a plunger. We're just gonna utilize the wood handle on this. And I'm gonna cut it down to about this size here using some wood glue by Super Glue. You can find this in the tool section. I am going to take this six inch piece of wood dowel that we cut down using the wood plunger from Dollar Tree and I am going to glue it to the center of my box and I am. I'm going to stack all three of these because I just love the rustic look of them. Once I've got them all stacked up, oh wait, we still got to stack the smaller one. I did cut down the dowel for the smaller one. I want to say about an inch smaller, so I went with five inches for that dowel. Before I put the smallest bin there on top, I'm going to let this set overnight. Once it's dry, I'm going to take some Minwax stain. This is early American stain, and I am going to give these a nice good coat of that and I'm just using a foam applicator to do this and I'm not going to wipe off the excess stain if you want to you can this wood is fairly dry so it was absorbing it pretty quickly I just love the color of this stain yep look at the color on that I love it now for the metal label holders I used my Cricut I cut out some of my own labels using the pen feature because I have horrendous writing and so yeah, can you guess where this is going? It is. It's gonna be used for Ray's house and all his coffee stuff. He's got a Keurig that we got him, but it's all just kind of thrown in a bin. And so this is gonna help organize it. To this, I'm gonna add some sweet cream because Ray loves this stuff and this creamer does not need to be refrigerated. So I thought it was perfect to put out on his countertop. 
And for the center one, I'm going to put some Truvia. And there at the top, I am going to put these plastic straws stirrers that you can get, I want to say, in the paper plate and plastic utensil aisle at Walmart and just look at how stinking cute that is. I love this, but we're not done. I'm going to take four more of these bins because he needs a place to put his cake cups. So using four of the wood rulers, I cut them down to about, what is it here? What did I, seven inches, four of them down to seven inches. I'm going to glue two of the bins together side by side, just like so. And I'm going to do that with the other set of two as well. Glue those together. This wood glue by Crazy Glue, it dries within a couple of hours. Once it's good and dry, I'm gonna take those rulers and on one end, I'm gonna place more of that glue. I'm using this glue instead of hot glue because I really want this to stay together. I'm gonna do that on all four points of two of the boxes there. Once it's good and dry, I'm gonna place some of the glue here on it, this end, just like so on all four of the rulers. What I love about these wood rulers is they are stainable. So this is all gonna go together as a great piece. I'm gonna take the last two drawers, place them upside down, and place this contraption right on top of it. And I'm gonna let it dry. And it's, again, only gonna take a couple of hours. Once it's good and dry, you're gonna see how sturdy this is. How cute is this, right? I'm so excited that this is gonna be at Ray's house. I am gonna go in with more of that early American stain and give this a good coat of that as well. Because we're all over there, we all drink different coffee. I picked up this entertainment collection, labeled it again with my Cricut and uh, I'm gonna place the cake cups in there. And what I love about this entertainment collection is just that, that there are so many different flavors. There's something for everyone. Ray really likes the French roast a lot. I'm a breakfast blend kind of person. Kayla's a cappuccino, and they even had hot cocoa in it for Allison. So this piece is going to work perfect because we spend so much time over there. I don't have to worry about truck and coffee and my creamers over there anymore. Ray's gonna have an awesome coffee station at his house that we can all utilize and it's gonna be rustic and amazing. Look at how cool that looks. Simple, gets the job done, it's rustic, and it is going to fit Ray's decor perfectly. And this is it at Ray's house on his countertop. I absolutely love this piece. These wood rings by Crafter Square, guess what? You're gonna find them in several different sizes. These larger ones, you're getting two in a pack. They've got some medium sized ones that come with five in a pack. And if you really need some smaller ones, you're gonna get nine in this pack. And these measure out at 1.3 inches in diameter ran across these burlap stretched canvases in two different sizes. Gonna pick up a couple of these. And these ceramic houses. Keep your eye open for these for Christmas in July DIY. You know me, I love this lace ribbon. Guess what? They've got a thicker one now in several different sizes, which I'm super excited about. I love this lace ribbon. You're getting, I wanna say, about one and a half yards of this ribbon on a spool for $1.25. You can't beat that. I'm seeing that my Dollar Tree has these green cutting mats back in stock. Boy, do I have a hack for you using these so when you see them at your Dollar Tree, pick up nine of them and do this. Alrighty, so like I said, you're gonna need nine of these cutting mats by Crafter Square that you can get at the Dollar Tree. And again, these measure out at eight inches long by six inches wide. I'm gonna line them up in rows of three. You'll see that these cutting mats have a solid side and this printed side. I'm gonna utilize the solid side for this cutting mat because I don't need the printed side that has the measurements. Once I've got my two rows of three placed together using some of Dollar Tree's duct tape, I'm going with the white because it'll match the printed side of these mats. I'm gonna use this tape to adhere these two rows of three together just by placing a strip of tape where the two mats meet. Now, I like Dollar Tree's duct tape. If you wanna use a heavier duty or tape, heavier duty or a more heavy duty tape, you can but I'm fine with this. I found that this worked just fine. 
once I've got these two rows of three mats taped together, I'm gonna place my last three mats on the side. And I'm gonna tape them together as well the same way. Now I'm choosing not to use a glue because I felt like by placing a glue on the sides of the mat, on the edges, and then placing them together, you were gonna get some spillage. I didn't want any glue seeping out of the edges. Yeah, you can go ahead and wipe it, but I just felt like trying to get glue perfectly on the edges of these mats is really hard to do, and it's just gonna come out messy. And because these mats are going to be on a flat surface, this is gonna be the new background of my videos when I'm DIYing, I really didn't see a need to glue them together. It's not something that's gonna be moved a lot. It's something that's just gonna kind of be in place. It actually has like a no skid mat under it. Now you can see that I'm going ahead and I'm taking the tape and I'm gluing from side to side as well just to make sure that all of the edges that meet up of the mats is taped together. And so really it just takes four strips of tape I flipped it over. Once I flip it over, you can see that I've got this nice, solid side of cutting mats. And yeah, there are those four holes in the middle where they all meet, but I'm not real worried about it because I had already tried this out and you'll see here in the video um, just how nice this works. I'm gonna go ahead, remove these stickers, and because the marks where the stickers were at are going to bother me, I'm gonna use some all-purpose cleaner and just kind of wipe these down. Here I wanted to show you that by using a rotary cutter or even a razor blade, you can very easily cut through paper using a ruler. You can put a good amount of pressure on these mats and it's a self-healing mat, which means it doesn't cut through the mat. These mats are a great quality mat and I think to utilize them best is to actually place several of them together to give you a bigger area for a workspace. I also wanted to show you that even though this is taped together, it is a piece that you can still flip from side to side if you wanted to and utilize both sides even though the other side is taped. For me, I really just needed a nice solid background. I needed and wanted a bigger cutting mat and so this is going to work perfect for that. If you really wanted to use the other side where the printed measurements were, you really could very easily, even though the measurements kind of repeat themselves, you can see that just by lining up your ruler with the lines, you can get a straight cut and you can still measure it within, you know, six or eight inches because it's pretty easy to tell. You're just going to want to make sure if you're going to utilize the printed side that you tape the solid side. I was browsing the office section at Dollar Tree and saw that Jot has a label maker. I'm not quite sure how it works. I am seeing that there is sticker label included into it. Great find for $1.25. Get organized in your office. And have you seen all of the new LED solar lights that Dollar Tree has in stock this year? I am loving this one. It's got an on off switch. This paw one. You better believe I picked up maybe eight of these. Oh my word, I love them. And how about these, kind of that bamboo look that you can hang from something. These were my favorite. I picked up about 12 of these because I've got a DIY in store for you using these. Yep, love the look of these. They've got some fun ones that look like light bulbs in several different colors. And right at the bottom there, you're gonna see uh, the solar, whatever that's called, the charger. And they've got these pretty purple ones that would be fun in a room if you had a way to charge them, I guess. Yeah, like those, super cute. Keep your eye open for these. When you're on the food aisle, keep track of these freeze-dried mixed fruit pouches. They come in several different packs. They've got a pack for everyone. I love these because not only do I love freeze-dried fruit, but I love cereal. So in the morning, I like to take my cereal. I love rice checks. If you like corn flakes, get those. I take a pack of the dried fruit, pour it into my rice checks, and look at that. You've got some nice, good fruit. 
Dried, freeze-dried fruit will rehydrate when you add milk to it. Oh, that's Biza right there. Mom, I want some. Look at his cute little nose. And yeah, it sweetens your cereal. You don't need any added sweetener. It's gonna rehydrate that fruit. And let me just tell you, it tastes amazing. One of my favorite things to put in my cereal. When you're at Dollar Tree, they've got great floral arrangements, but pick one of these up from Hobby Lobby. You're gonna get it for about six bucks and add some of the fruit branches from Dollar Tree this year that you can find right now. Beautiful. How fun is that piece? It is such a universal piece that can be used for most anything. I really wanted to use it as a coffee station, kind of K-cup holder, sugar holder, straw holder, all of the above, because Ray doesn't have anything like that at his house and it's all just kind of in his cabinet in wire baskets from Dollar Tree. And so when I saw those, I thought that those would be perfect. They kind of suit the decor of Ray's house kind of my house too if I already didn't have a place but I love these DIYs I hope you enjoyed them too and all the new finds that I found if you're looking for more DIY inspiration well guess what you can click on the video right over here and it'll take you to some of my past favorites until next time everybody I hope you have a fantastic day happy everything on a budget happy crafting on a budget stay happy stay safe stay healthy but most of all you know what I'm gonna say? Stay positive, please, because I am. Bye for now, everybody.